angry. Stop where you are. Stop. Hey! Stop right now! Wind it, Mom. Not this time, Dorian. We're all witnesses. You've crossed the line. Harassing us. Abusing authority. You've been profiling us. Targeting us. Following us. Shooting us. Killing us. Mm -mm, not anymore. <laughs> one thing. One, yeah. one thing Lorraine, Lorraine, Lorraine Hansberry said. Get this photograph. <laughs> when we had that famous meeting with Bobby Kennedy. Lorraine said to Bobby, who was also dead. Everybody's dead. You know, Lorraine said to Bobby, and I said something about black manhood. She was a to talk about black men. And Lorraine said she wasn't worried about black men because they'd done very well, all things considered. She was very proud of them. But she told Bobby, she said, I'm very upset about the state of the civilization which produced that photograph of that white cop in Birmingham standing on that black woman's neck. No. Yeah. What does that say for white manhood? Where do you stand in relation to the Negro figures in our in the media that we see who frighten us the most, um, and maybe some of you the most, um, the ones who want to burn it down, um, demolish it, the ones who have totally given up? I assume you haven't totally given up. Well, I'm still alive. It's still the best of me. It's the long the best of me. I'll never give up. But if you think that Rap Brown, you're referring to Rap Brown, it's so, so me, uh, are something new, you know, I refer you back to an old, old song. No one even knows who wrote it. And it's supposed to be spiritual, it's supposed to be about, you know, uh, Christian church, but it really is a slave revolt song. The man says, if I had my way, if I had my way, little children, great God, if I had my way, I'd tear this building down. It is not new for me. We've always felt that. It is new for you. We have to understand that we're talking about our survival and nothing else. Whether or not this beautiful race of people is going to survive. And check out the pattern in which they move. They came to this country. They didn't know a damn thing about this country. The red man showed them how to adapt to this country. He showed them how to grow corn. He showed them how to hunt. And when the Indians finished showing it, he wiped them out. He wiped them out. No more turning the other cheek. No more blessing our enemies. No more praying to those who despitefully use us. We're going to show you that we've learned the lessons you've taught us. We've studied your history. And you did not take over this country by singing, we shall overcome. You did not gain control of the world like you have it now by dealing fairly with a man and keeping your word. You're treaty breakers, you're liars, you're thieves, you rape entire continents and races of people. Then you wonder why these very people don't have any confidence or trust in you. Your religion means nothing. Your law is a farce and we see it every day. You demonstrated it in Alabama. And I can say you because you're part of the whole system. You profit from it. In fact, you make your living from it. You couldn't walk around and talk to people, stand up in your pulpit on Sunday and preach nice little songs and say, now we're going to give thanks to the Lord for he is good and old Jesus be among us. As far as we're concerned, your Jesus is contaminated, just like everything else you've tried to force upon us is contaminated. Well, so you can have him. See yourself as somehow a victim of history. We all are. But you know, I want you to understand that If I see, say during the civil rights movement, there were women <clears throat> who would rush out to the schoolyards when they were trying to integrate schools, and they would uh, push over the school buses uh, that were bringing black children to the school, push them over and set them afire. And when I saw that, I was wondering whether I could ever get a group of black women under any circumstances, from any walk of life, to hurt some white children, to set a bus on fire full of white children for any reason. Prostitutes, drug addicts, ministers, teachers, black women of any level. Could I call them all together and say, we have got to burn these white children? And I didn't. 
believe I could ever find that. So I thought, those white mothers, they were not just white women, they had actually had children. They knew what that was like. But they could do that to those children. They could spit at a child. So I thought, that is the most degrading life I could imagine, of being an adult who could do that. If I were those white people, the absence of that shame was so profound. 